Good morning folks, it is Thursday morning and we're going to come together and read again this morning from the Psalms. We're on Psalm 10 this morning. Uh, let's hear God's word together. O Lord, why do you stand so far away? Why do you hide when I am in trouble? The wicked arrogantly hunt down the poor. They let them be caught in the evil they plan for others. For they brag about their evil desires. They praise the greedy and curse the Lord. The wicked are too proud to seek God. They seem to think that God is dead. Yet they succeed in everything they do. They do not see your punishment awaiting them. They sneer at all their enemies. They think nothing bad will ever happen to us. We will be free of trouble forever. Their mouths are full of cursing, lies and threats. Trouble and evil are on the tips of their tongues. They lurk in, bush, in an ambush in the villages, awaiting to murder innocent people. They are always searching for helpless victims. Like lions crouched in hiding, they wait to pounce on the helpless. Like hunters, they capture the helpless and drive them away in nets. Their helpless victims are crushed. They fall beneath the strength of the wicked. The wicked watch think, God isn't watching us. He's closed his eyes and we won't even see what we do. Arise, O Lord. Punish the wicked, O God. Do not ignore the helpless. Why do the wicked get away with despising God? They think God will never call us to account. But you see the trouble and grief they cause. You take note of it and punish them. The helpless put their trust in you. You defend the orphans. Break the arms of these wicked evil people. Go after them until the last one is destroyed. The Lord is king forever and ever. The godless nations will vanish from the land. Lord, you know the hopes of the helpless. Surely you will hear their cries and comfort them. You will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed, so mere people can no longer terrify them. Amen. The end of Psalm 10. Again, it's a very honest outpouring from the psalmist. Uh, don't know exactly what's going on in the background, but something has annoyed it or upset the psalmist. Um, they're concerned about those who can't stand up for themselves, concerned about what the wicked are doing, and just that sense of godlessness that's in the land. Not really that much difference from these days. Whenever people completely deny the existence of God, deny that there ever was a God, and just say, I can do whatever I want. And again, the psalmist has the warning that we will have to actually give an account one day. We will be brought to, to task. We will have justice and what that means. But I just thought it, it's, it's an example of how honest we can be with God, of just how we can tell him exactly how we're feeling. And God doesn't judge us for that. We're just expressing what's in our hearts. We're, we're telling it to God. We're just letting that out. And at the minute, probably for a lot of folks, that's the only person maybe you have to talk to. Um, with, with lockdown that's going on, and maybe you are so frustrated and you're so annoyed with what's happening. Tell God. Just let him know how you're feeling. He's listening. He's always listening. He's always watching. And he will always answer. Let's pray about that this morning. Father, again, this morning we give you thanks for another glorious day. Thank you for your goodness to us, for your provision. Thank you for a night where you've kept us safe. Uh, and Lord, now as we come into this day, just, just be with us, we pray. Help us and guide us uh, in all that we do. Lord, thank you for the opportunity today that we will have down in strain to be able to, to bring gifts um, for food bank for those who are not as fortunate. Lord, as they get collected in and as they go off to the food bank, we just pray that they would go with your blessing. That as families receive that support, that they would truly know what it is to be loved by you. Father, life is a roller coaster for us. So many ups and downs. Help us to have that freedom to, to talk to you, to tell you anything, to pour out our hearts to you. Because you are the one who understands us, the one who always hears us. So Father, thank you. And just go with us today, we pray, in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Um, just remember, we are doing between 10 and 12, the drop-off for Food Bank down at church. If you want to um, drop something off, please feel free to do so. 
uh, and and as you're doing so please do it in a safe way just remember social distancing uh, and all that goes with it so thanks folks take care see you again tomorrow bye